What is going on, members of the Barrio? It's John coming to you from Guadalajara. And if you didn't hear the news, I'm here to tell you, Adriana and I are staying one more month in this awesome city. I mean, this spot has really done it. It has given us reason to explore the area more because we're enjoying ourselves so much. So for today, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys around our new apartment. And this is probably the most luxurious place we've stayed so far while in Mexico. Let's start this tour. Here we go. Hola Adriana, como estas? And what are you working on now? So my acuarela, like, like acuarela in Spanish, watercolor in English. Um, so, and this is my hobby. And if you guys didn't know, Adriana is an amazing artist. She actually has an Instagram with some of her artwork. And which one should I give them? The pet artist one or the other art one? I think the pet artist one is fine. So if you have a dog or a cat, I can paint it. If you're in the Guadalajara area, I'm gonna leave information. You can contact Adriana. But guys, we've got a tour to show you. And let me start with, I guess I'd say a living room here as we move towards the kitchen. A very nice finished kitchen. Some important things. Every apartment needs a blender if you want a protein shake. Every apartment needs a microwave for obvious reasons. And this was a very cool touch. They left us. Beer and soda. Corona. Not my favorite Mexican beer, but for free, who am I to say no? They also left us some milk, so they did this whole like welcome kit when we came. Plenty of cabinet space, coffee maker, couple of burners. It all looks pretty new. I think this building is like 10 years old. Definitely the largest TV we have ever had, I think, in any apartment anywhere. Maybe even bigger than the TV we had in Hawaii. It's got to be like a 50 inch. And this is more of Adriana's favorite spot right here, but I can, I can test this spot out. And this is a great location. It's connected to Netflix. It's a smart TV, so I could just turn like this. And it looks further away than it actually is, but it's a, it's a pretty nice view. Let's go to the bathroom. All right, so pretty standard bathroom. I wouldn't say it's anything special. I would love a window up here, but we don't have one. And this has one of the quirkiest little features I've ever seen. So guys, check this out. When you put the hot water on, you turn the lever this way. When you turn the cold water on, you turn the lever this way. So I don't know who designed the, the shower, the bathroom here, but they kind, of, they kind of messed that up. It's a little bit backwards, but eh. You get used to it. Before we go into the guest bedroom, I wanted to show you guys this hourglass that came with the apartment. Pretty neat, huh? Don't know how long it runs for though. Thinking 30 minutes. We have a timer on this vlog. Okay, the guest bedroom. Two twin size beds. And two separate windows. Actually, one thing I really like about this apartment with the bedrooms is you could close these windows and it does an amazing job keeping out the light. It's like those Las Vegas style curtains. You know what I'm talking about? It gets pretty dark in here if you want to sleep. Now on to the master bedroom. And we'll start with probably my favorite spot in the whole apartment, the desk in the master bedroom. And you know, when you work from home, one of the most important things is to have good light, which we have, and a desk to have your computer. And guys, if you saw my last video, my first vlog in Spanish, I asked for 1,000 likes to do another video in Spanish again, 558, we're close. More than halfway there, it could happen. Full size mirror. And then we have the same style of window that the other room has where you could close this if we want less light and a king size bed. A little bit strange in the fact that they put, I think two full mattresses next to each other, but you don't notice it too much unless you go uh, right in the middle, but it's comfortable. I have enjoyed my sleep here so far and plenty of closet space which when you're packing for four months, can you know, it can always be an issue, but here we have nothing but space. In fact, look, we even have more room than we actually need, I think. And we're gonna make a quick trip to the roof. We are on the top floor right now. 
let's check out this rooftop. I've actually never seen anybody up here. Have a little lobby space. I have no idea who left these red shoes here, but it's like Dorothy wants them back. <laughs> little patio and a couple of tables right in the sun. And I did forget to mention we are in Ladron de Guevara, which is definitely one of the nicest, most central neighborhoods in the city. I want it to be as close as possible to Avenida Chapultepec, and we're about a 10 minute or so walk to a very popular spot. I am sure you guys want the details on how much we're paying for this place, how did we find it, etc., etc. So let's get right down to it. We are paying approximately $1,100 a month for this apartment and before you start to say, wow, that's a lot of money, should be paying a lot less. There were quite a few factors that went into actually renting this place. Number one is we wanted a very specific location and we had only a couple of weeks to find a place that had a vacancy for only one month. Now, when you're a digital nomad and you're traveling long term, you will see that one of the hardest things to find a good deal on is a one or two month rental. Most places either want to rent it by the day on Airbnb to make more money or they want a six month or a one year contract. So usually you're gonna get a much better deal if you go long term. That's issue number one. Issue number two is if you want to stay in an area that tends to have um, more foreigners, is closer to the nightlife, is closer to many of the popular attractions. Again, you're going to be spending more money and this is an amazing neighborhood. I want it to be walking distance to a lot of things and we are here. Issue number three, uh, we got this place actually off of Airbnb, kind of indirectly, and what I did was I contacted a bunch of apartment listings from Airbnb. I said, hey, I'm in Guadalajara right now. I wanna check your place out. Do you mind if I see it? I went to a couple. This was the only one we saw where we immediately loved it. The issue was, via Airbnb, it would have cost us $1,500 a month at the rate he wanted. Then I offered him, let's go off Airbnb, I'll pay you in cash, which is very risky. I must admit, it was a risky thing we did, but it's paid off. And he said 1300, I counter, I'll give you 1100 cash, and he accepted. So there was a bit of bargaining, uh, a bit of utilizing Airbnb and, and finding some apartments. I don't recommend a newbie traveler do that. Airbnb gives you great protections. I'm telling you, they give you really good protection if there's an issue with the apartment. We're taking a risk here for one month, but we just could not find anything that we liked remotely close to our price range, which was about $1,000 a month. And this is a pretty luxurious building. No, it doesn't have a 24 hour doorman or a pool. Yes, I think we are paying a little bit too much, but compared to our last apartment in Guadalajara, which I we're paying maybe $100 more a month for, I like this one five times better. So guys, tell me in the comments, what are your strategies for finding long-term rentals? I'm curious. Again, I'm super open to more suggestions about Guadalajara and Jalisco. Keep them coming, because you guys have provided me with so much much good stuff. If you're new to this channel, make sure that you're subscribed. We've got a ton of adventures coming up in our final month in Mexico. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.